I really don't know why it's so hard for some of y'all to understand that name calling is not going to get people to respect your opinion. You can't force the whole world to use your preferred pronouns, just like you can't force someone to go by cisgender. Your rights and your personal boundaries do not supersede the boundaries and rights of everyone around you. Yes, I came across this video recently. This lady is right. You cannot force food into someone's throat. This reminded me of a video I didn't put out a few days ago saying if you call him a man, it should be illegal. Do not supersede the boundaries and rights of everyone around you. Living peacefully because they already have all the rights that we do. But now because y'all have brought the kids into it and you're bullying people who disagree with that, you're getting these really strict laws and you're surprised by the pushback. And what's really sad is no one's gonna know what real transphobia is because y'all use the word too loosely. Respect is a two-way street, but some of you, you don't want respect, you want supremacy. And that is why you will fail. This reminded me of a video I didn't put out a few days ago saying if you call him a man, it should be illegal. Because he has read articles from journalists doing that, it should be a problem. When I saw that, I had to relate this to what she said here. You cannot force people into what they don't like. In another clip, I came across this question surface and this lady was speechless. I've been watching this podcast for some time now and I realize this guy is right for the job. If you were such a godly man who's returned his whole life around for God, you should learn for a little bit more acceptance and tolerance. Let me ask you this. Is God tolerant? I think God made us all in his light. He didn't make any mistakes, right? So if he created trans people, then he did it for a reason. Did he create trans people or do trans people choose to be trans? It was not a choice for me. You didn't choose to go on hormones. You don't choose to dress this way. You don't choose to identify as a woman. You don't choose to wear a weave. You don't choose to put on makeup and present yourself as a woman. So I'm gonna go back to the original question. You said- This is beautiful. When I saw this, I could not resist without reacting. You can't tell me that God choose this person to be a trans. I think you grow up and realize yourself, decide to change your personal decision. I choose to wear this dress like wise you. I choose to create YouTube videos. That is simple. This is a kind of debate I really want to see because it actually brings out what is happening, how people think nowadays. And they were bringing out this argument without even thinking no facts to actually back up what they are saying. This is simple logic. You don't even need to argue this. God doesn't choose this person to be a trans. The person decided to be. So when you're here trying to convince me to say, oh, no, it is insane. Your business. No, my yeah. question to you is, is God tolerant? You projected yeah, all of these Yeah, I would say God is tolerant. In Genesis, it says that when God created mankind, he made them male and female. And in Leviticus, it says for a male to have sexual relations with another man, as he would with a woman. How many times has the Bible been translated? Is, this is correct, is it not? The biggest thing that we harp on in Judaism is a man should not lie in bed with another man, and then we take that to mean don't Do you guys know okay. that that scripture was changed so many times though? Oh. Yes, they are going this far, going straight into the Bible. I can't do this. It is simple. Since people can understand basic biology, even if you use quotations from the Bible, it will still not solve the problem. We are in a free world. 
if you want to be anything you like, I've seen people, I want to be like a dog, I want to be this. It's a free world. Feel free to be who you want, but be ready to be accountable to all what you're doing on the last day. This is simple. I don't want to go into arguing or trying to back that this said this. It will not solve any issue. I've been saying this over and over. My problem comes in when you want to force every person to believe that what you are doing should be copied by everyone. And you even go further to indoctrinate every person to do like you're doing. That is where I have problem. If you learn to just be yourself, do your thing, I will not step into your boundaries. We are fine. Even if I don't greet you because I don't believe in what you're doing, nobody is putting food on someone's table. We will still coexist in that way. Translated. Is this How many times has the Bible been translated? Jew, is, this is correct, is it not? The biggest thing that we harp on in Judaism is a man should not lie in bed with another man, and then we take that to mean don't. Do you guys be gay. know that okay. that scripture was changed so many times though? Oh, the Bible has been translated. Obviously, that's not a falsehood. It was not written in English, was it? No. Do you know? Do you know um, Latin? It wasn't written in Latin. Okay, whatever was Aramaic. written. Aramaic. In... Oh yes. Okay, it was been. Aramaic. My whole point Greek is. In Hebrew. Th let me finish. You're Jesus trying to educate Christ. me on the Bible, okay, but let me you don't finish. even have Do it your most basic facts Do it straight. Do it after. Let me finish. Let me straight. finish. What I was saying is, the Bible has been rewritten so many times. False. It's been translated so many times. Faithfully and accurately. Okay. The Bible has been translated multiple times, and there is proof and evidence stating that most of those translations from those scriptures they were actually saying a man should not lay with a child or oh, retracting like the it's not in the vatican there's not we I don't have these things right? i'm sorry i, I can't listen to that false i learned the bible <laughs> i don't even want to say anything i want you to know your opinion particularly to this because it is reaching a certain point i cannot say anything because it might trigger a lot of people sometimes I want you to know what you think. Maybe we can discuss on the comment sections and we express ourselves. Please drop under the comment sections. Let me see. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. And if possible, why not share this video? God bless you. If you're boycotting Bud Light because of queer advertising, have you heard of...